everyone, welcome back. I am Kelly McPeple and I am passionate about empowering women to look and feel confident, stylish and successful. So this is the best channel for beautifying your body and your mind. So if you haven't watched the part one of this video, I'm going to link it somewhere here. Go watch the part one. That is the part that you get organized and get things ready for the second part of this video. We are going into the fun part. So keep watching. So once we understand what our body type is, the next thing we need to do is we are going to create a mood board. That one actually makes me feel excited because that's when we begin to collate all the pictures that we like, all the, you know, the, the celebrities or the stylists or whatever, the people that inspire us with their style that we like or just all the pictures we like, we put them all together. And the easiest way to do this is actually by using Pinterest. I use Pinterest, I love Pinterest, and I'm sure a lot of you um, use Pinterest. And if you don't, it's honestly one of the best ways for you to kind of curate the different things you like and enjoy. You can create a board and in the board, you put what you need. Another thing we can do is take our own pictures. What are the pictures we've taken, especially on the days when we were feeling like we were looking fly? Because the truth is we probably don't take pictures on the days we don't feel great. So go through your phone and there is a way to upload your photos from your phone, onto your Pinterest board. So I'm going to leave a quick guide on how you can transfer the photos on your phone and upload them onto Pinterest. Create this mood board. And then we will be able to tell, oh, I gravitate more to this color. This is what I actually like. This is what actually suits me. Oh, look at the way I looked in that dress. Oh, I looked so cool. I looked so gorgeous. And we put that all together. Now we're beginning to understand what we look good in, what suits us, what we actually naturally gravitate to. If we don't go through this process, we will end up continuing to buy things that we don't like. They look beautiful, they look nice, but we don't wear them. I, listen, I'm a shoeaholic. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. I have more shoes than I actually wear. And some of those shoes are shoes that I saw, I liked, I never tried on, and I just bought them and they were never my size and I never let go just because they were so gorgeous. And by the time I wanted to buy, you know, like buy my size, I couldn't find my size. So I just kept them. I've had to give a lot of them away, but we don't want that. There's no point in having a museum of clothes. We want clothes that we, that are lived in, that we enjoy wearing and, you know, make us look gorgeous every day. So once we've curated, you know, the different style inspiration and our own style and we have a mood board and it's looking all cute and gorgeous, the next thing we are going to do is we're going to start to practice our style. So when it comes to practicing our style, something that I find useful, which I always, I don't always follow, but will be useful to someone is taking our clothes, you know, at the end of the weekend and preparing ourselves for the week ahead. Now, I know that this is going to depend on what um, field you're in, where you work, you know, and what actually works for you. Um, what I always try to do is, I think to myself, Monday to Friday, or whenever you work, what are the things that I'm going to wear during that week? Now, you might not always follow it to a T because I don't, but at least it gives me a base to work with. Because especially when you have a family or you're a working woman and you're out first thing in the morning, there's no time to figure out what to wear. And a lot of times when you try to be so spontaneous, you end up looking like a nightmare. So now that we have put all our things together and we've put all our clothes together, we know what we have, then we can go shopping. We can go and buy the things that we need or the things that we've realized actually suit us and we actually enjoy wearing. I think it's always important for us to spend money or invest money on things that we can use over the years that we can use and get the most value out of it. So, and this is why I tend to stare away from fast fashion and I invest more in clothes that are more durable, that have better quality to them and are more sustainable. Now, do not, I repeat, do not be enticed by the sales that you can see in the different shops. And listen, let's write it down. Write down what we want so that when we go to the shops, we know what we're looking for because a lot of times we get derailed. We know, I remember a time, I'll tell you a story. 
There was a time I went, I was going shopping, I needed a beautiful white shirt. I wanted something that, you know, was bright and had a lot of ruffles and, you know, frills. And I went to the shop and I got carried away because there was a sale and I was in John Lewis and I was like, okay, they hardly have sales. I better go there. I better pick what I want. And at the end of the day, I didn't even buy a white shirt. And so now I try to be so laser focused. Sometimes I think it's even better when we go online and shop because then there's, there's more distraction, but we remember why we're there. And by the time we look through our basket, we realize, okay, we didn't buy what we came, you know, we haven't bought or we haven't selected what we actually looked for. And so it's important for us to kind of note down what we need so that when we go shopping, we can be focused and we can buy what we want. Now, we will find out that once we've done all this and we've gone shopping, we, we are able to figure out what our own personal style is. So it could be that, oh, I'm a color girl. I like multicolored clothes or I love multicolored shoes and I always want to wear plain outfits. I like black and I stick to black because black makes me pop. Or it could be that, oh, I love lipstick. I love different colors of lipstick or I like crazy hair rather than just calm, straight, you know, hair. It just depends on our personality. It's it's a reflection of who we are. I, I regard style as like my daily armor. So I have my personality, you know, I have what I enjoy doing. But when I walk out every day, you know, the way I look from my hairstyle to my shoes, that is the armor that I'm putting on for the day. And it's giving me the confidence and the grace to carry out whatever task that I need to do for the day. There is this saying, and I don't know where it came from, but it says, dress the way you want to be addressed. Your dressing is your address. And I know we're all in different, you know, spheres of life. Some of us are in the corporate world. Some of us are creatives. And that kind of will determine what kind of clothes we wear the most or what kind of things we actually um tend to wear but let that not discourage us i mean i was in research for over 10 years and i was known as the lady with the bright lips and i had all the color in the world because it was a very you know like calm environment very you know everyone respectable all the professors all you know behaving prim and proper and there was kelly with all her color you know <laughs> coming into the place i had a pink hang bag you know and i had red lips on and like but that was my signature style color lifts my mood it makes me happy it makes me energetic like even if i don't feel great that day because i have color on i find out that I put my best foot forward and I just go out that way. And that's what I want to infuse in you. So think back to a normal day when you either received a compliment or you knew you were looking good. How did it make you feel? Was there like an added spring to your step? How, how did you show up that day when you felt you were looking good? Did it make you feel more confident? I believe that every single one of us is trying to achieve something in life whether it's being the best parent or the best employee or the head of an organization or reaching the heights of our career, whatever it is that we want to achieve, we must not forget that our style is a reflection of who we are to the world. So I want to ask you this question. How are you showing up to the world? If we were that ideal person that we want to be, say in the next five years, how are we showing up? To the world now let then become now and let i will be become i am you see there's a quote by jim Rohn, and i love that quote so much he said something he said success is not something that you pursue success is something that you attract by the person that you become and let me leave you with this note we are all unique we are beautiful there is not one style that is better than the other but when we know what works for us, we can always come out in confidence and stand up for who we truly are. So I've got a question for you. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Do you have a celebrity that you follow, that you like their style or someone on Instagram? Let me know in the comment down below. So thank you so much for watching the part two of this video. I hope you got useful tips. As always, if you enjoy this video, 
click the like button. Um, you can subscribe, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next video.